Welcome back uh, to The Breakfast. There's still a lot more that we have to discuss this morning. Remember, in a bit, we're kicking off with uh, off uh, the press. Uh, so please uh, stay with us and, of course, enjoy all the details uh, coming your way. Absolutely. <laughs> The uh, 20th of October 2020 is now a date marred with death, accusations and counter-accusations. Plus, TV Africa reflects on the unfortunate incidents which began with a peaceful atmosphere and later reached its uh, anticlimax after a violent confrontation by the Nigerian army. Fumi Unwajefe files in this report. The 20th of October 2020 is a date many will not forget in a hurry. It was a day young Nigerians proved many social commentators wrong of quitting the stage after curfew was announced by the Lagos state government. Before this day, it had been 13 days of peaceful and coordinated protests by the Nigerian youth. Coincidentally, Plus TV Africa had visited the toll at 10 a.m. on that fateful Tuesday. The protest site was well coordinated. Security checks at the entrance, cleaners setting up to pick up litter, and the refuse truck picking up dirt. There was a lot of distrust for the media. Most of the media houses have been giving very, very inaccurate reports just to um, discredit the discredit the um, protest. Like you can see, the protest is very peaceful, but some of the reports tend to um, place the um, protest to be in a violent uh, state, but which is quite untrue. This is a genuine cause. Nigerians coming out to say enough is enough. Tents were set up right in front of the Lekito customer center. There were reports on Tuesday of hoodlums setting up barricades at Marwa area, but the protesters said they had sent security operatives over to remove the barricade and chase the hoodlums. We got reports that there were roadblocks around Marwa this morning. I got there and some other people got there. We chased them away because there should be uniformity of purpose. So when, when, we, got, when we got the message that hoodlums were blocking roads around Lekki, within Lekki. We had to send bouncers to go there, clear the road. The roads now are free. Fela Nicola Kwakuti's music is blasting from the speakers. The emotions are high and the protesters send happy. There were free haircuts at the toll that morning. The Baba considers it his own contribution. I just decide to give what I have to Nigeria, to fight for Nigeria to be better, you know, to fight for my kids. When asked if the protest had lasted too long, some of the protesters disagreed. It's not enough because the government, they have not answered us yet. Until we see changes, what we want is change. Not just mouth changing, but action. That's what we want. Though the protest ended with a sour taste in our mouth, the lessons learned remain indelible that no army can stop an idea whose time has come. For Miuna Jefe, for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.